it was amazing, you know, with the barbed wire fencing around it and guard towers. I thought it was really stupid, you know. Uh, prejudice, all, all prejudice is so stupid. When Pearl Harbor hit, uh, you know, it, we were all very concerned about, you know, what's going to happen. They had tagged notices on the telephone poles in Berkeley saying anybody with Japanese ancestry will have to report to a certain place. They gave us one week to put things in order. Just bring a suitcase, just one suitcase for each person. I was an American citizen, natural born, and to be treated that way was, you know, unbelievable in a way, but it was happening. This was the first time American citizens were incarcerated with no court or, and, you know, no justice at all. They had a whole series of tar paper buildings put up and made out of wood with uh, black tar paper on the outside. Each family was given a space about 20 by 20. It was, it was a prison, really. With barbed wire surrounding it and uh, guard towers at the corners with uh, soldiers and uh, machine guns. And so my father said, this is crazy. You know, you're, I was just starting Cal at that time. Um, we're to try to get you out of here. If you were a college student at that time, you were permitted to leave if you were accepted by an inland school. And I, that's how I ended up in Washington University. When I was in the West Coast, they had blackouts every night, you know, sirens and so forth. I came here and it felt like there was no war going on, you know, in St. Louis. It was a totally different feeling. And the students here were just wonderful to me. They just treated me like everybody else. And I uh, graduated Washington U and stayed on and uh, became an architect. And I've been here ever since, except for a couple of years in the Army. St. Louis and Washington U has been great to me. It's my home now, and I really love this community. Right after the war, you know, it took a while before uh, people of Japanese ancestry were able to, you know, get back what they lost. I think what we have to do, work all the time, is to reject profiling and, you know, make the world a safe place for everybody.